Oh, held by Na'Vi. There they are. Oh, they, st they still get him. Even though he fell back, he took 50 damage. Yep, that sucks. Wow. Ah, uh, doesn't. Chris is just having one of those rounds. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, ooh. I thought he was going to get both headshots. I thought the lineup was there. Kerrigan gets him back, thankfully, with the AK. But this is my point. Simple's electing to play these angles. Trying to catch them off, but he's just not quick enough today, it seems. And a great read to look above the smoke. Zeus on the side finds two. Nearly got the third, but just stepped off the edge as he went down. A one-on-one -on -one for Voxic. As Flamey has to close it instead. Good smoke. That's the real powerful play from Voxic. I feel like Flamey's going to push that. He has to. Indeed, he will. He, I don't think there was any other option there. Simple. Oh, he's going to actually oh, he hit distinguished it. and hit it anyway. I think he would have hit that in the flames or otherwise. Simple fights them in banana. They think they can strike because he's going to rotate. He doesn't because Boomich is already down so far that Simple can stay there rather than being the anticipated dynamic off. And he catches them off for it. This was a great round from Na'Vi. Selves. Simple. Alu-esque, down toward it. Spots across alt middle. The lead, Chris J still leads for Mouse Sports on 11. Watch Flamey, trying to dance delicately behind the smoke, but Chris pursues. Krieg Rush, electronic. Always had him. Absolutely has, and Boomich is already in the apartments again. Second time he's been able to push that electronic. You said it, heard them, walked out, took advantage of the fact that he knew that they were down bottom side of middle, but Chris J still with the Krieg, making good work. Be patient. Timings could elude him, though. He's looking towards the bottom right now, and indeed, he played that so well. He was waiting for the reaction from the CTs, which did come. He was aware of the prospect of it being a push from B, but unfortunately now lost the bomb, and Chris J might be in trouble. Down to 12 points of health, up against Simple and Zeus. They know exactly where he is, and he only has 30 seconds. There's almost no chance of winning this one. That confirms it. Just a note about the Krieg, by the way. I see Chris rushing with it. And Rushy will toward Simple. It's frozen again to go down, but I'm not sure Simple's going to be aware that a second player was that far around the corner. In fact, he could push that smoke to catch out Zeus, who was throwing in nades. Boomich in the pit, taken by Rops up close. Simple gets him in return, but Chris is still trying to find a way around. And Simple over lined up. He's got two. Krieg again. Flamey gets him down, but that gives them a chance. Voxic has the bomb, but he's spotted out. Absolutely dismantling the offense right now, as Boom and uh, they only have three rounds. So frustrating for him, as you mentioned, Frozen not delivering. But there it is. That's a bit of the talent we wanted to see. Electronic at range that just can't get it done. Look how much damage he did. Collectively. Took Voxic to one, took Rops to 31, but... Let's see if that can be converted by his teammates, because Bomb's already planted. Ooh, Chris as well. Great position. He might only have a CZ, but he is going to swing in behind them. And they're going to have no idea, because Bomb went down on A. They're going to assume everyone's there. This should be the round on its own. Even if he doesn't get kills here, he slows them down enough, and he's... Cause, gonna cause a lot of damage out. Yeah, slow it down, don't shoot. Sneak out, headshot. Yeah. Fortunately, the second player down toward Cubby means he can't swing to get Flamey, but look what this does. Flamey has to look backwards now. Yep, he, he can't really do anything with this at all. You're right. Lovely push coming in. One kill found, but that's all it took. Frozen just to know with his third. So he had a very quiet start into the game, but that could be one of the most impactful rounds you're gonna get. Simple holding onto his AWP. And. Deploy a smoke with a minute and five. Back. Oh no, away. As much as he's still top fragging, Simple's being caught a lot on the A site trying to be aggressive with this AWP quad side. Boomich will get Chris. That gives Simple space. And the AWP, HP doesn't matter as much. Damn. But still can't hit the flick. Tough one to ask of him, to be fair. But Electronic gets the trade. Trade will suffice. It's still a four on two. It really is. It should be advantage Na'Vi here, but players like Frozen are up. He's looking for a frag. Not going to get them, though. Zeus with a lovely shot from the graveyard. Voxic might find himself in a similar position as Flamey. We'll get the final kill there. And uh, similar to Alu, what we're doing, and simple, of course. Aggressive second mid pushers and trying to open up the map himself next half. Zeus really has found some form in this event. This has been impressive. He's playing very smart CS as well, using the utility to his advantage. They've won the round of this. What they're going to be doing here, back towards A. Electronic just needs to find one, and the round should be there. Good flashbang from Symbol to back him up. He's going to swing out, but the smoke is down. It's his smoke gives him a slight gap here. As you see him actually look towards the apartments, takes Rops, and just needs to stay alive at this point. Buy time for the rotations. Even the bomb can go down. It's the last round here. Fair enough. Good crossfire. Electronic gets both. Determining playoff positions. Rops. 
excellent work with Proxic as well. They're hitting every single shot, bomb down the balcony, and that's how it goes. Just those two, all that's needed. Good headshot angles, and they nail them. Happy with that. Now, Voxic has the AWP. I promised you kills, and there it is. The first one comes in straight away. And I think a contact player's in the cards. They're just going to try and get a pick back in return, and they face check Coffins. Yeah, absolute contact play here. In they go. It's electronic focusing towards Coffins. I thought of the seats. He's a best of them, though. Very aware. Chris J still there with the MP9, but got to be aware of the verticality. They do trade blows, but just flamey left in the three versus one now. Flamey with a smoke, an additional flash, just to be annoying after putting that down. And he transitions all the way into dark. No, he's going to play pillar and another flash just to be annoying again. Keep in mind, not all three are coming from that same position. The Voxix clearing banana has to do it with the AWP. Now he joins in. That could be a factor. Goes for the pistol instead. Deagle works. Why not? Commitment. Three players only on this side, and Kerrigan is fully onto it. He's got to go. Flash gets him in. Zeus doesn't respond very quickly. Simple does, but he gets two for one in that situation. Yeah, perfect. Asian towards the outside, but Voxix got quad. He's got a kill here for sure. Spot is caught up. There it is. Got to take Boomage down, and really starting to look much better at this point. Four on two with 15 seconds. I I don't see a way in, but maybe not. We do. We'll see if they can find it. One player gets past at least, but that was just baiting in Robs. He plays that so well. It's so patient. And that's a great shot from Flamey, but there's no bomb being planted here. I'm afraid. As we close the gap. Yeah, that's right on the CT side as well. <laughs> so far this game. Oh, there it is. Simple. Getting a taste of his own. Medicine, right down there at T steps. This is a buy as well. The AKs are out. They've got nothing to say about this round. Still looking down. That you're right. There's Navi's going nowhere in a hurry, and they're starting to show a serious That's lack better. of depth on this T side. He's stuck in sandbags though. I think they're aware of it, but still, it's Zeus. Such a weak execution. You got a couple of smokes to throw in. You've got no Molotovs. One flash. That is just not going to be a great thing here. But the nades might be. That's not bad. A chance there. But it looks like now Swartz is... You can see they're not blind. There's no pressure with the Molotovs. And simple. Oh. No knife this time. Does get a frag on the boosted player, but Frozen takes care of that pretty quickly. Electronic will have to do something absolutely fantastic at this point to even stand a chance. He's got 35 seconds. Grenades flying in. Flashbangs as well. Sits in the smoke. Down he goes. And it's Mousewaltz taking the lead at this point and after being 11-4 down. Looking. He, he knows they're rattled. They're going into set piece mentality. They've got nothing left. Pack it up. This one's done. Chris through the smoke. Oh, look. Hi, guys. Oh, the incendiary on top of it as well. See you later, guys. He's just absolutely owned them here. They've, are they... I think if they need that from the other side, they know they have to be by bags right now. Oh, he smokes oh, They don't steps. have any nades, unfortunately. Oh, my oh. Phillips knows where they are. The one player behind. Boomich does burn him out of position. Flamey capitalizes with the assist, but they're just going to keep pushing. This is... Seems to be needs some work. If you remember back in the day, Matt, it used to be Na'Vi executions down to 10 seconds on this map, and right now, they just look really lost. And again, it's a flashbang. This time, not as successful. Admirable. They're already down a man. But man, oh man, just lucky stop when he did. Chris again with the Krieg. Stop giving him a creak. Oh, he's got simple. He's got the bomb. He's got the round. They get the opening pick. And again, they just hope for the best going back toward B. And they can't isolate a single individual. As Electronic finds Frozen, it's Rops to slide out underneath the trade off of him. Bomb will at least be grabbed by Boomich. But so much noise and such little time to think about things. Well, Chris J, he'll take damage at the start. I think Simple hit him straight through the half wall there, but he gets a grenade at his feet. I love this one, Chris. He always does this. He runns around the corner, and he's going for double kills here. He's got to actually... Oh, the smoke as well. Brave from Frozen, but he's going to surely go down here. It's going to be such a scrappy second kill if he picks it up. Not going to happen. Electronic knew he had that for days. As a mechanic in CSGO, if you're not aware, crouching, walking, shooting, full accuracy. So you can face check those sort of angles while moving. I've tested it in real life, too. Can confirm. Well, my, my accuracy didn't get any worse. It was already yeah. bad, so... Yeah. <laughs> Voxic has Boomich down on the AWP. We're on a three-on-three. Three. All no sports need is one round, and this is over. Now they playing for overtime, surprisingly, at this point. And they're going to take their time. Smoke off on Rops. Small gap, but he can't really utilize it. More so, it's gone, and that gives Flamey the angle who snuck into the site. And this is the round that really matters. You can't really justify the retake now because you need the money for the last round. You need the box to get AWP. Overtime certainly on the cards here. Yeah, what happened to a few rounds ago when they were relentless in their pressure? Exactly. That's pushing, when you've got locking them in. You're, you're feeling at that point. You feel like we can get away with this. They're, they're, they're the ones that are and, at the back foot. And just 
Oh, well, they did try and flash it in, to be fair, but simple hits Kerrigan. Down he goes. Second time the flash has failed Kerrigan, and there are two men down already. This looks like overtime. Low HP, though. Mind you, on Flamey. And Chris J is able to win out on that duel. Aug instead of the Krieg, but another missed shot that's going to be extremely costly. Chris can't get out. Tried to get toward Boiler, given that there was a smoke at top middle, but it's all on to Frozen. He might find one if Electronic had overstepped even a little bit. He's got some timing now. They just checked quads. So that's bought him like five seconds before they think about it again. Bomb goes down, but now that five seconds has expired. He had to move a little bit quicker at that point. Makes his way through and himself known. It does go to overtime. Boomich. Again, looking aggressive inside of the apartments. Remember the round he pushed. Two of them, but specifically the one where he got all the way behind them at Banana. Simple, again on the op, quick to realize they'd gotten around in the Arches Smoke. He has to do his part. He certainly will. Frozen drops. Need bounced in. Significant damage further onto Kerrigan. He's down to five. Ox sick. Oh, wow. Last alive. Need takes out Kerrigan in the end. One on three. Was four. Op to fire. He's got to pretty much hit every single shot because here comes the cavalry. And he's flashed off to the corner. He can... Try and isolate. I hold my breath as he crosses the barrels, and they are going to flank him out eventually. He's ne it's inevitable that he gets pushed around from both sides. He knows that Simple is in towards that position at this point. The smoke doesn't actually do Voxic any favors. And I think he doesn't know where Simple's repositioned to. Fake plan. I'm not sure that's going to bait noise. anyone in. It actually seems like it might. He is capable of winning these. <gasps> just needs to be opening, but not going to happen. Double overtime confirmed, especially Na'Vi. But considering their, their T-side performance, I would say you'll see them pick up the pace a lot if they get a 3-0. Might That's, not be the case, though. And yeah. The offset is the amount of damage they did to Kerrigan, Frozen, and Chris J. Simple! He gets caught off this time. He's been so good at the top side of middle with the AWP, rather than in the site, which we saw in the first half. But Boomich and Electronic make amends with it. We're still in a 3-on-3, three three, and it's two of the low HP players down. That's significant because it means now Rops and Voxic, as Frozen is taken out, can still fight and fight with confidence, as they will do to find Boomich in return. Great stuff so far. What a round. Two on two. Chimney flashbang doesn't do much for the player. In towards a pit. The Molotov does, though. Out they come. Electronic in position for at least one kill. He does fumble it, though. Flamey has to win out in the two on one. He has no intel as to where they are. There's 40 seconds on the clock. They were looking for the clean sweep. And that incendiary it might help him out somewhat. Had to be a bit deeper, though, to be honest. Let's give him some space and the kill. But the trade is there. And it's going to be 2 1 on the CT side. One minute 20, and we'll see Chris J. We know he likes to push this. It's his own flashbang. It's not the alley -oop. This is just him off his own accord, and it's going to cost him his life, I'm afraid. And Na'Vi just need one to get map point again, Matt. Remember, that's the B bomb side, not open. Carrigan in trouble, though. The perfect Molotov to flush him out. He has to go to the pillar. He needs headshots. He needs at least two kills. Gets zero. Five on two should be round. You've got to go for it if you're Voxic. Need something massive here. He knows it. Collateral kill there was available. Not going to get oh, anything, no. but looks at things. There's the first. But it's not enough. It was flashy, it was nice, but surely there's nothing to be you done. Say now. it's not enough. It is a one on four, which makes it extremely unlikely given that they're going to get post plant positions, but there's three that are so low on HP. If this even had one more player in the mix for Mouse Sports, it might be a very different scenario. Oh, boomage. <laughs> okay. Cool, man. That would do it. Points on their opponent's pick. Simple. Oh, my goodie. You don't see that too often. The jump across is considered safe. That's an incredibly difficult shot. If we can slow that one down and grab the replay of that from Symbol's POV, that would be great. We got Frozen now fighting back. I think we might be done here, Matt. It's gonna be a five versus three, and they can slow it right down. They need to be smart here. They do not need to rush in into a crossfire or a choke point. It's gonna cost them two or three kills. Play it together, execute still, and use the advantage and close it out properly. I do want to point out that season nine was only just peak, oh, Chris J. Just, just peak by yourself towards Arch. That will do that. That stat made me think like, wow, it's been a long time then. That was only two weeks yeah. ago that he dropped 35. So uh, there you go. But he might drop more than 40 if this keeps up. He's on 38 now. He's got more available to him. That was an interesting one. It looked like the smoke was further gone. That might have been a graphical this is baffling. indifference because he finds Zeus standing in the open. Chris forced back into water. Flashed off, needs to get over top of the coffin. He knows the ring, gets around behind them just in time, and that gives him time enough to get simple. But the bomb can still be planted. 2-2 two, two and a retake required. They're going to work from both directions. Can't play direct directly for trades. Certainly not with a smoke down towards CT. They'll have to time this to perfection, and they can't. Not gone through. Rops knows he has to. Low HP, but he's stuck in the flames. He's dead, and Navi get away with the win. Any better insight on what to expect based on that opening performance from either side? 
I will tell you that Chris wants to get aggressive. He's already out past the mid double doors and trying to hold off lower tunnels, exposing himself though to top side of middle. He's actually gonna commit to the push and Flamey punishes him for it. Oh, there it is. That buys them a lot of time and space. Yeah, we'll see if it's going to be enough. Simple the PD50, of course. That Molotov, we're seeing more and more teams throw that now. The Xbox smoke double down with the short Molotov as well to stop CT pushes. Working out very well. Carrigan, he'll hear them making their way towards short. Might have a kill available to him. Has to be a very clean shot, a difficult one for him to hit. Not worth giving it up on the T side. And Voxix so low. If he gets one kill, he'll be impressed. The P2000 has to connect. I think his days are numbered. There's the one kill they were looking for. Carrigan finally will get himself in a position where he can actually be part of the fight. But it looks like this one is already over. Rops will have to kill three more players at this point. And it will take a lot of mistakes from Na'Vi. They are presenting opportunities, but Zeus will close things out. It will come through as the scouts will be brought out in round number two here. CD side forced by and simple. Oi. Just too quick, too fast. And this is what I'm looking for. Voxic versus simple. It's going to be one hell of a battle on Dust 2. Balls on simple to try and repeat the second player. When the information was gone, Rops did hear him. Boomich actually landed. I'm, I'm sure... His fall was broken by touching the head of Rops, and yet he didn't identify the fact that he'd gone over top of him. So he was able to oh! try get the shot. How does Kerrigan find that from the window? As Flamey falls, Electronic is all that remains. He's got trade potential here. He'll get one potentially. Should be traded out. See, he's got this. You would think he's got low HP on the final one. It's going to be such a close battle here, but Frozen wins it. Towards middle we go again. Chris J baited him by Kerrigan. First kill, the trade, not gonna happen. It's Flamey with the MP7 with the double kill. Voxic will get one in return towards long. Boomich gives that kill up. And now Flamey with mid control. What's the next move here from Na'Vi? Well, seemingly reposition and go back for the bomb, but three are going to commit to middle. Frozen's gonna be locked in towards CT. He's forward of the box. They couldn't isolate him alone. They had to get the trade, but it's one further loss on their side. Still the advantage. Robster in this position. This is where he'll be tested. He is amazing at anchoring bomb sites. This is a tough spot to play. It's not a pre-fire. He can see the window still. You'll see the head as they walk through, but he might have missed time this slightly. He gets the first kill. Can he find a second? Looks like he might do. Only good for one, but that allows Vox to at least have a chance there. Goes for the AK-47, gets a kid as well. Flashband is going to ball through the actual double doors here, but it looks like he's actually smoked off. Might want to fall back at this stage, consider his AWP. Definitely still worth investigating though. Nice Molotov beneath the window, no one there. Both players on the left-hand side of the site, one of the car, one by double doors. AK in through. Simple just waiting down below, easy exchange for him. You think you beat one? You think you can bait a shot out of him? Second one will fire as well, but not with two smokes down. Chris likes to drop down to the ramp, fires in. Still trying to bait toward Bo Boxic, though. That works because Chris forces them to think there's only one up there. Boxic comes back out from the box. Boom, which is flamey gone. Simple electronic trying to respond. So far, so good on that attempt because they've got it back to just the one man deficit and bombs to go down as electronic protects his teammate. It's even. It's the deadliest duo in CSGO electronic and simple. Just locking horns of each other, and it's going to be Rops who's got the impossible task of trying to take them down. We'll see if he's got it in him. No utility available, but he's got skill. First kill is clean. Does he know the second player's there? Spots him on the jump. He can do this now, man. Needs to find it. Not going to happen. But they are so good at the scouts. They've already found one tag. Foxic, he does... A lot of those as well. He gets another. Electronic down to 30. It's exactly what they're designed to do. Just weaken up the opposition for those CZs. This is actually looking really good for Mouse Sports. Carrigan might push that. What are they thinking? They're going one by one again. Na'Vi really are quite terrible at these rounds sometimes. They really just like to go in those single choke points. But recovery mode is on now as a scout looks to do more damage. And that's already going to be another kill for them as they tentatively make their way towards the a bombs i hear chris is going to get another not quite electronic at least brings it back to a three on three but still the walking wounded of navi boomage and electronic will have to hold up in a crossfire and hope that the cts are una unable to use this awp effectively fair trade it was lined up it was milliseconds yeah. apart but navi still have the advantage zeus with two blow up Boomage at the door, waiting for the smoke. Allows him to get out of the door, but not fully commit. Chris J just with a deagle here, but he's always so good at this weapon. Doesn't get one this time. Boomage will take him down, but he's a few bullets. If it weren't for that cubby, he might have, because it would have been locked against the wall. The fact that he could get away from the damage ultimately cost Chris his life, because then they had the information. Ooh, Kerrigan. Ah, spotted. 
an electronic able to see him coming, otherwise that would have been huge. Sneaking over top of the AWP, we're not able to respond that quickly. Gets the rifle first, could have been two kills for him. It's two for Rops instead, though. Smoke at the mouth of the tunnel, and they can't sneak in because he's standing where they would go. Oxic finds simple, onto electronic. Five to four. This one's done with seven seconds left on the clock. Yep, lovely work. They keep challenging Robson B, and he, it's, a, it's probably the worst place in the map to go. He is so good at anchoring that side of the map. The better part of his plan, in fact, this could go back over toward B because they've gone for the drop through CT. Simple. He gets Robson. They had no idea that he was coming. Chris J gets one a second as well. He's able to control with the doors, but now they're picking him apart with rifles oh. picked up, but he doesn't care. Goes back for more. Knows that one got by, but not sure which way to look. Bomb still down bottom mid. They've got this round. Zeus onto an off to try and pull it back in a one on two, and he's the one that's tagged. I thought the damage went the other way. It's not looking too good for him. And if he gets one of these kills, that'll be something, but they'll peek off that. So Blooms, I'd assume. Nice shot from Voxic to close things out. Little boost for Voxic, and this could pay off what because Electronic that. walks directly. You've just face-checked lower B, a very common boost uh, towards lower there. But either way, it's still five versus four, a chance to win the round, but they're not making it easy for themselves. As we've seen Boomer waiting for a chance to strike, but he's actually been headshot. He'll go down. Carrigan, scrappy, but he's finding left. Kills left and right. That's going to be three in total. Okay, simple, sure. Just echo location. Don't activate this man. Oh! And as he switches to a burst, he's got an AK, but Frozen's got the shot instead. Or Olaf back in the day with Fnatic. Of course, it's going to be simple to go. Oh, Chris, he's, he's fortunate it. to oh. get away. And he is away, but he's flashed. He's got support. Rops is gone immediately, though, only for one kill. One's enough, though, because look who else is in the closet. And I'm not talking about you, Henry. As Frozen catches off Boomage the second he arrives. Bomb goes down. Simple at the door finally gets going, but it's a little bit late. One on two. My goodness. He can win these, though, but it's not going to happen. Carrigan bests him in a duel towards the A side of the map. This is more of an execution-based play. You'll see these smokes being dropped in the flashbang, thrown over, and that'll launch everyone in, dropping down, presumably, to try and get themselves towards that A side. It is Voxic that's coming up against the wall. Oh, okay, oh. Simple. Stop that right now. Three kills. Finally, Rops takes him down, but forget it. The round is already wrapped as they'll swing back in. Careful not to line up. Flamey gets his second, so three for Simple. That being the Molotov. Indeed. Electron, remember the MP9 pushes through. Good for one, not the second, but still, that's fine. Did significant damage towards Frozen. And uh, only had the SMGs. He got the most out of that weapon that he absolutely could. And 50 seconds remaining. Back towards long they go. Zeus is the anchor, but he'll be left there alone now. What a great shot that is from Frozen. Oh, this is a tough position. Flash. It went deep, so in fact, Chris was not fully blind. Luckily, Zeus committed to running all the way back because he would have been potentially, or could have been potentially caught from that, forced off the boxes by the flames, and that puts him back within range of the members at long. Rops already coming down. Has the shot on the AK, simple. Zeus is isolated then. He was down towards long, didn't feel safe in that position because they could have... What has he got here? What is he up to? He's expecting that fast miss push, and he's read it so well, but he's got so unfortunate with the timings. Luckily, Electronic is there to back him up. Wow. He was dead. He was done for. Simple is seeming to get caught. Oh my God, Frozen and Garrett. What? What is that nonsense? Just absolutely destroys them all. Unbelievable. I think you could genuinely put together a team under the age of 20 right now, under the age of 19 even, that could take on the world. Good start for Flamey to get too, but that's all they're gonna get. Electronic manages to catch Rops off guard. Done, gone. Not ready for this level of play as Voxic will be opening things up again. That's what you want to see from the AWP play. Gets himself the opening kill. They've snuck out middle. Carrigan's found the second. It looks like we're all done here. We're going to train. Simple is struggling to get things right on timing. You yeah. can tell he's trying to be clever and cheeky with his 20 and 18. It's not like he's his top overall on either map, as we expect. It's the little details to his game that just aren't lining up for him today. And Electronic down at the door to Frozen. It's just Flamey in a one on three. Yeah, with the AWP, he has absolutely zero chance to this stage. The bomb's too far gone. Three kills to find, and Mouse Sports are a really convincing performance there. Smoke and flashbang for there. It got P250 for simple. That's a bit of an iconic duo now with the 
Kevlar as well, looking for the one taps, fires off a bullet, but it's Chris J that strikes first. The skull of Electronic has been pierced. P2000 finds the first kill. Five versus four now, and that's Mouse Sports with the advantage. For me, they look like the much better team on Dust 2. They look so well rounded, and Chris J, he's looking pretty impeccable this round as well. It's going to be the second kill on the board as uh, we're getting ourselves now into a five versus three. Zeus, Boomich, and Flamey have one smoke between them. They're going to smoke down lower ramp and just try and get the bomb down, I would say, at this point. Two kills to start it on the two that you mentioned are the most dangerous duo in Counter-Strike right now. We've got a few of those. Almost might be time for another 2v2 tournament. Might be. Kerrigan flashed, smoked, and all the rest. Trying to hold off the site has Romps at range and range, which he is very good with. He's like Legolas. Oh, he hasn't planted. Flamey, he's fluffed there. Ooh, that was an odd. No, he had the bomb down. Yeah. I think he just assumed he did. He had definitely had a plan there. They're going to rotate towards CT stairs as well. That gives him a bit of range in the argument. But Kerrigan has gone on top of the train to try and play above the smoke, and he might spawn electronic. He does. Foxic that gets the kill on him instead. That was the player at the stairs, so they had that covered off twice. Watch for Flamey to try and enter. Yeah, Rotations back through Z as well. Yeah, absolutely. Zeus in a great position here, looking towards that connector. So much of the rock gap. Does nail the shot. Remember, it's that scout went towards connector. You can't really swing wide. It's the advantage in terms of the firepower for Na'Vi. They're certainly capitalizing upon it. Damage has been done to simple. Up to Rock to try and save the day here. Can't quite find the quick kill. And I feel with the bomb being planted, that might be the only chance they had. And I have a suspicion that that was... Well, not even a suspicion. We've got the proof in the pudding, as you guys say in the homelands they misread that they thought the single kill at ivy was enough they snuck down the back tracks and went old bomb into the site christian kerrigan swapped spots oh big spray took a while zeus gets away with it on foxy but not done rops knows he's damaged he knows he's weak he knows he can contest on this doesn't have the kit so he's got to be on it now and he's not quite close enough so backs away but Chris and Kerrigan swap spots. Chris got caught out on top of the train thinking they were safe, that no one else was in that position. They walked into the site. Kerrigan and is nowhere to react. Yeah. And it's done. But here comes Kerrigan. And there he goes. Deagle wins. Damage is certainly in the favor of the Deagle. The DPS, I think it's a stat. It's hard to quantify. Goes in favor of the MP9 in that situation. Frozen only gets one. It's electronic and simple to respond. Bomb goes down, Voxic. I think he got him through the train. We'll try and save the AWP, which is absolutely fine. They're all saving towards Ivy, so no issues there. Robs will save an MP9. It is a deagle. Relies on precision at any range, really. Chris gets caught. Hoped he could go undetected as chaotically they would go in. It didn't work <laughs> out. Frozen and Voxic find kills, so the AWP still gets one. Frozen falls afterwards. It's Boomich to get him. Kerrigan stays on top of the train. Rops is already at the flank as well. He's being watched, but there's 13 seconds. They've got to find space inside of the site, and there's not a lot of time to do so. Simple's got Kerrigan down. That leaves it to Voxic, and Bomb just barely gets planted. Yeah, he had to hopefully find a couple of kills in the process, but Simple will time that to perfection. It's a huge round for Na'Vi to pick up there. All down lower ramp as well. He's not going to see any of this. Nope. I was hoping, oh, and they've already crossed. I was hoping to catch up, or another got to smoke down. Two have crossed. Third one's there. Molotov on hitch, and they are pushing him. He's not ready for this. Electronic on the other side. Flames make noise. He won't be able to hear the footsteps quite so clearly, but he does. That's the key thing, that he still heard them coming. It's Zeus and Flamey now simple to get the better of it, and the bomb is still planted, and it's all on to Frozen. Who's going to walk in from, oh, the back lines. Boomich is extremely low. Three HP. Stuck in the corner. Smoke to preserve. And he tries to pull out a knife because why not? AWP, knife, what difference does it make? But this is Frozen going for it. Just enough time if he had a found Simple in that moment to get on the defuse. No kit. Unlikely he does so. Bigger problem is that Simple now guards the exit. I'll take him down, but round is over. Oh, corner should survive there, I believe. 93 HP. 35, there you go. but it's over toward B, the action happens. Oh, White Sand does hit the first one. Boomich, the one that he gets, but Flamey finds him afterward. Kerrigan sitting on the bomb. Surprises when he needs to. Bomb down, 40 seconds. It's not going to win the round on that alone, but it certainly buys some space. Not if Simple starts showing up. There's a player right next to him on his left, and surely he gets taken down here. He spots one. 
Oh, what? Chris J somehow. I don't know how. Heard him through the... It, it hurt. Oh, he oh got my him. God. That's so smart from Simple. What? So, so sick. I can't even begin to describe that one. Not so much. Electronic Maybe on the bomb side itself. Got focus towards that. But that doesn't look like good news. Good flashbang, though. Vic. Caught. Boom it. Got him. Forced off the angles by so much utility. Seventh round. Not secure, but bomb down. Two on two inside of the site. They don't have anyone forward in the post plant. CTs, therefore, can take their time to clear the alleyways. Zeus, this is a tough position to play. You're open from so many different angles. Boomich gone. Zeus has to close off to a train. Has to get some cover. Has to isolate and does against Kerrigan. Spots the second player on Frozen as well. So now he just needs to work out where to place his Molotov. Left or right. Needs to choose. Gone for left-hand side. Might want to save that for the bomb itself. <gasps> Did that spread? It clipped the top half of the train, surely. I don't think it would have done enough to keep him off it. He's on it. He's defusing. He's got it. Zeus didn't think he was going to hold. He thought that Molotov was enough that he would encourage the repeak, but he didn't. He got too far away from it. Work out. We'll see Flamey now making his way towards Olaf. Money on the line for both teams. Flamey waited. It does make sense. Sometimes things do. That's what one cross. That, that's what I mean. Vox is pushing lower ramp with his. So just a uh, polarizing approach. Either way, we're going to see the first kill for Carrigan. Covers off toward Evox. Allows the entrance to be a little more swift. Less open space and sight lines to deal with. Chris is above it, though. Slow to react. Catch Flamey. And by the time he tried to repeak, Flamey was on the ground and ready for it. Hold for Electronic. They're trying to buy him some space. Kerrigan is still back there. Shot on the op. He has to reset, and he does. Electronic wasn't fast enough. And oh my goodness, Kerrigan, we talked about the op potential. There it is. That's why he's so good as he gets the ace as well. Rosen, the only one on the A site directly. Kerrigan's going to give up Ivy. No one to play it with him. He just pushed it and peeked down to his T spawn and saw no one. That's going to keep three inside, and that's a massive problem. That's a good point, because Electronic is there, and they are attacking on A. Kerrigan smoked. They know it now, Chris J, but he's got to go all the way back to the entrance of Z-Connector just to get around. Headshot. Oh, Frozen couldn't hit it. Couldn't react fast enough, and he knows he can't swing because there's more than just the ball plants. Are in oh! that position, Zeus! Absolutely wrecks him after putting the bomb down. Chris at least gets the response, grabs the AK instead. But unfortunately for him, his teammates still don't have position to work with. He tries desperately to find and eventually will get Flamey. But they're just waiting in the wings at this point. Exactly that. You cross over a sight line that Electronic holds. Simple now gets the information they're trying to get in. Didn't catch Voxic toward the hitch, though. So this could be an element of surprise. He's pulled away from the bomb just to battle against Electronic, and that was easy enough for Simple to close on. That's Olaf position. Aggressive, of course, but Boomish with the first headshot. That's Rops being dropped. And Flamey looks like he's got a few players in his crosshairs as well. Spots two, pulls back. They've got the advantage. Chris J around the corner. Not quite. Doesn't commit to the peak, but he has a crossfire set up against oh. him. And simple and electronic. You now both electronic snappy to find Voxic as well as Kerrigan now left in a one on four and has no idea that electronic has snipped him beside. It's now 10 to 6. Kerrigan just picking away with a pebble gun toward Flamey, but Chris comes in with better weapons to close it off. He said the star player with the guns. Simple making good on the first attempt. Deagle shot from Boomich as well, so pretty standard affair so far as Rops gets two, and then the nade closes down on it. More simple. And no real economic advantage built up either side. Put the pressure more on most sports for that exact fact, because if they go down to 13, potentially sit for 14, and then they have to claw themselves back into the game. Well, there's the compromise. The P250, four AKs. Usually as the in-game leader has to take it on the chin, Chris J will take a bullet to the chest. Boomich will get the first once again. He's been great at getting those opening kills. Remember, this is a back-breaking round from our sports if they give this one up, and they're trying to find any sort of access point here. Rops has got towards E-Box at least, but the orbs are just too much for him to handle. Org apparently as well. It's a five versus one. Frozen. He could actually find maybe one more kill, but is it going to be enough? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be the case. 13 to nine. This is it. Last chance, really. Inside play will come through. Upper ramp provided with smoke, but here comes Simple. The AWP gets one. 
can't find anything more. Oh, Zeus gets fortunate there that they dropped down. I was going to say, the fact that Simple got so aggressive on the upper si the sidewalk, when he went down, everyone was so far forward of the site. Oh, kick down the lane. No one giving themselves up that easily. Electronic is there. He'll play it off a of sound. And that's the bomb. Smoked off now as well. Kerrigan was low. Simple did the damage. Flamey falls, but double smoke. They connected themselves to suggest Rops isn't there because that was a T-sided smoke. Hasn't worked out, Matt. It was a good idea. It was the best of a bad situation, but Simple and Co. will actually have a stunning performance there. Simple with 26 kills.